Troyer with Betaseed. I'm here with John Dillman, the Regional Sales Manager for the Colorado-Nebraska market. John has been working on a project for about the last year that he would like to talk to you about. Hi Renee, I've been working on a project. Uh, we have growers that have been telling us that their monitors do not read the exact number of seeds that they are planting when they are using smaller seed, such as mini pellets. And so I've been working on a project to determine if there is a way that we could improve the seed that is flowing past the sensor and, and get a more accurate population reading on their monitor as they're planting in the fields and so that way the, the growers are not having those issues of having false skips because we know that the seed is being planted but the, the sensor is not reading it so uh, we classify them as a false skip. Okay, so what work have you done? Well, we've taken uh, the Precision Planting Ultra test stand and did extensive testing in the warehouse uh, using the seed tubes with a long insert, which is manufactured by John Deere, which puts the seed directly over the top of the sensor, and because the sensor is more sensitive in the center. And then what we have done is modified it by cutting off approximately eight and a half inches off of the bottom. And, and that still puts the seed over the top of the sensor in, a, in the correct position. And we're getting much better population numbers by using the short insert and still getting very accurate seed spacing. We had eight different growers that we, we used their planter in the field at, as they actually were planting. We tested the same row on each of the planters. We used row number one and we had no insert, the beta planter, and the long insert. After we did the counting, which we ended up with 9,600 seed spacings, we found out that the CP1 on the short insert is nearly as good as the no insert and CP1 is, means the number of seeds that are falling within one inch, either a half an inch forward or half an inch back of the mean. And so that tells us that we have very good seed spacing and the monitor gives us correct data for what the grower is wanting to plant for the seed population. Who else has been involved with this project with you? Uh, Mike Marker, who is a sales representative for us in, in the um, Scotts Bluff, Nebraska area, has been helping and has done quite a bit of work with us uh, as far as doing this testing. And then also John Smith, who is the machinery specialist from the University of Nebraska at the Panhandle Station in Scotts Bluff. He has retired, but uh, recently retired, but he has done extensive testing with planters and continues to be involved with the planter clinics that have been held in Colorado, Nebraska, even though he has been retired. So he has very, very extensive knowledge about planters. Where can people get a beta planter? Well, you can contact your local beta seed sales manager in each of the different markets. Or, personally, I have been working with 21st Century Equipment out of Bridgeport, Nebraska, and they have been modifying the insert for me, and we have have them in different parts of the country. Or you can also contact your local dealer and purchase them from them. But an important note is to make sure that when you cut off the, the eight and a half inches that you file any rough edges or any burrs that may be there because if the seed hits those rough edges there could be a very good chance that you're not going to have good seed spacing because it's going to deflect the seed in an incorrect direction so you just have to make sure that everything is filed smoothly. Thank you very much for your time, John. Please keep us updated with any new information that you may get. For more information on the beta planter, you can just go to our website at www.betaseed.com.